Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fly in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see I have Vegas Pro 14 up and this is the raw footage of me jumping in the air but turning it into a flying effect. As you can see, that's all the effect is and I walk back to turn the camera off. So it's really simple. So to do this, the first thing you need to do is have an empty picture or just the background of where you're going to be doing this flying effect. For example, I'm going to be standing here. As you can see, I'm not there. And that is what you want. From there, you want to change this to best and full. And you want to take a screenshot and you can just call this back. And we'll be using this later on. It's important you do this as well. So now we're going to trim this down to the part where I eventually get to the part where I'm going to jump, which is right here. So if I play this through, I jump in the air right there. Now we're using the left and the right arrow keys, we're going to find the highest point in my jump or in your jump. So I'm going to find it now and it seems to be right there is the highest point in my jump. What we're going to do, we're going to press S to split the clip. We're also then going to come here and take another screenshot and we can just call this fly. Now we're going to drag this one to the side and we're going to drag this still image in. So this is what it should look like for you so far. You're going to jump and it's just going to stay still like that. So I'm going to delete this part because it is not needed. And now what we're going to do is some masking. So come to the event pan and crop and make this as big as you can. It'll be very helpful for you here and select the mask tool here. Then if you come to the normal edit tool, zoom into yourself and just position it in the center so it makes it easy for you to mask around. Come to the pen tool, make sure it is the anchor creation tool. Now simply mask around yourself. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be going a bit quick, but when you do it, make sure you take your time, otherwise the effects won't look that good. Okay, as you can see, I'm almost done. The next thing you need to do is make sure you link back up. Now, when you link back up, you should see all the dots you have created. They should light up yellow. If they are not lighting up yellow, you must have made a mistake. You need to be able to see this. So then left click and then it all becomes one. The background should become dark and you yourself should stay bright. Now, what you can also do if you come to the path up here, you can make the feather type in and then just feather it up a little bit. One will be good for me and I can X out of this and as you can see this is what we've got. Yes it looks very weird and I rushed it so it does look even more weird but that first screenshot we took that I named back we're going to drag and drop this onto a video track below. As you can see it's given us the impression that we're there and for this effect I'm actually going to take the feather off because I've done it better than I thought so I'm going to turn that off and there we go, that's what it looks like. So this is what we're working with so far and this is what you should have. Just like that. Now you could see there is a light change there. It goes pretty dark and that's something you really can't avoid, especially for my purpose, it was natural light. So you have to be really careful with the lighting when doing this effect. And if you're gonna do this effect outside, be careful for the grass movement and tree movement as well. Now the next thing is pretty simple. Choose how quick you want you, yourself to fly in the air. Uh, I'm going to go about 15 frames here and I'm going to press M on my keyboard just to lay down a marker lets me know that's where I want to fly. I'm going to come to the event pattern crop. Now from here I'm going to select position and then I'm going to make sure I'm on move in Y only and that way I'm going to drag this down and it'll take me off the screen like that. Now what I like to do is throw myself as far as I can. That way this effect will look super fast and then it avoids the mistakes we sort of made going around in the masking. So I'm going to play this through. This might be a bit too fast. If it is, I'll just slow it down after. As you can see, that is what it looks like. Now there was a little stop here and we don't want that. So we're going to come back a couple of frames on the video clip two frames I'm going back and I'm going to trim this down and then I'm going to mark this back like so. So now it should look in one motion. There we go, it looks better. 
and I just flew off the screen like that. And that is how simple it is to create a flying effect in Sony Vegas. Now if you want to know the effects I put on myself in the beginning of the clip, it's actually really simple as well. So we're going to head over to video effects if you don't see it and simply come to view windows layout and select default layout. And the first thing I added on myself was a glow. So here is glow. I added a red glow, you just drag and drop it onto the masked one. And now I put the glow percentage down. The intensity was up a bit. There we go. So we get all of our body and then we change the intensity down just like this. And you play around with these settings to make the best one for you. And of course you can come here and change a color to whatever you want to. Pretty simple, any color you want. So let's go with a blue for this and then I'm going to X out of it and just like that we now have that blue glow on ourselves because we masked ourselves out. One trick I recommend anyone who has Photoshop, when you take that screenshot, mask yourself out in Photoshop. It will be much easier to do. Then just simply save it as a PNG, drag yourself back in and follow the same steps. Now if you don't want to glow but you want to change the colour of yourself, I'm going to take the glow off here. Then we're going to come over to colour balance which is right here, drag on the default one and now maybe you can go red. Oh I mean blue if we put all the blues up, there we go. Now we'll go red or orange. There's a red. As you can see, using the color balance, it has really fine edges on it. That is why I also use the glow because then it gets rid of the uh, edges like this. So you won't be able to see the poor masking we done. But there we go. So I'll keep it like that. And last time I'll play this through. There we go. We now have the blue. Now you can add that same color on you throughout, but as you can see, there's quite a lot of movement. I'm moving side to side. I'm stepping and it'll take a lot of time to just mask every single frame. And that's what you'll need to do, even the jump here. But that is how you create a flying effect in Sony Vegas. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.